Cloud, you up? Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Let's go somewhere a little more private, shall we? Cloty under the stars, as usual. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? That I'm a dumbass too? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Yeah, Cloud, you are a dumbass too. Here, look. My scar. Ooh. That proof enough? Oh. 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 After you left, oh. Zangon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. Oh. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. It wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? <gasps> In fact, where have you been this whole time? Get it, though. For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Aww. Sorry, I just need some space. God, you idiot. Well, he's mentally ill right now, so. Oh, the cloty angst! I'm living for it! This is too much. This is too much. The mom and dad don't fight exactly. They're so mom and dad, mother and father already, and we're not even the Advent children. No wonder they adopted Denzel and Marlene. Well, Denzel. Marlene too. <laughs> Roxas is crying. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Oh, sheesh. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. <gasps> I love this so much. God, talk about development. I'm going to your room, Tifa. I'm coming. I'm coming in. Fine. You gotta give her space. Tifa, please. I didn't mean it. I love how time almost needs to stop here. <laughs> Her little, her little emoticon. Hmm. Aww. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I notice. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? <laughs> oh, it's timed. The place I made a pro. The place I made a. The place I made a promise. At least I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. There we go. There we go. We almost messed it up, but we got it.
Oh. Hey. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Thank you. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. No. Oh. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? <laughs> the only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> His family owned the general store. Okay then. Right. I don't care about him, anyway, even though I. He left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... Huh. You're not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... A test. <laughs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Ooh. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? Whoa. With my iron stomach? Oh my. Oh, I just feel like we made a lot of progress. Don't worry, Tifa. That was an optional. I love how she still keeps the distance between her and Cloud because she's so shy. Because there's so much tension. Uh, and Cloud doesn't care about talking about anything involving the village if it doesn't involve her. But she was trying to make small talk. And she thought that he wasn't interested in talking with her, but that was not what it was. Oh, they're so goofy. Any idea what that is? The high one. Shinra's pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Three foot. Let's take that. Plus you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about. We're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Well, you two will be under the high wind soon enough, so it's okay. You're pretty good at this game, huh? I guess. <laughs> good enough to beat me, though? Aha! Uh -huh. I guess we'll find out. Oh my. Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. <laughs> it's just hot. Yeah. In the sun. Couldn't find the bartender, so I uh helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since seventh heaven. Wanna go back? Wanna go back? Midgar? I mean, of course. Someday, but I also know I have to move on, at least for now. No telling what the future holds for us. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, 
it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Ha ha ha. Foreshadowing. Oh, now Tifa's in the blue. Yep, yep. Tifa date incoming. Oh, hey, Tifa. Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right. Just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on a sky wheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. I think I always have. Ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me, I mean. No pressure. Of course I'm up for it. So, I wonder if it's because of the affection or non-optional. Cloud. It's Jesse. Oh. Back when I was still finding my feet in Midgar, I ran into some trouble. But she took me under her wing, helped me out, saved me, really. Sounds like her. I admired her. She was so cool and confident. Like nothing could bring her down. Yeah, I know. I owe her so much. Thank you for everything. But Jesse, Jesse was so thirsty for Cloud, even knowing their connection. I don't know, I still love Jesse, but it was kind of suspicious. What the hell, Tifa? What are you doing? You want that? I'll get it for you. Anything for Queen Tifa? Yeah! This place looks fun, huh? Now we're talking. That was practically calling your name. Thank you for killing it. But it's for kids. You're afraid of a little video game? How it is a kid. Whatever. Let's see how it stacks up against the real thing. Cloud, come on now. You are a kid. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? some minor technical difficulties while our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue for your safety we ask that you follow all staff instructions over here folks our friendly cast members will show you the way 